Nerve. Venus B. Delmonico, Emma Roberts, is a high school senior living on Staten Island. She surfs the web and gets a Facebook notification from her crush, J. Brian Mark, who tagged her in a photo that she took. V gets a Skype chat invitation from her friend Sydney, Emily Mead. Sid mentions a game called Nerve that is about to launch for the next 24 hours. The game involves watchers and players, the players are given dares to do in exchange for money, while the watchers pay to watch everything happen. Sid is signed on to play and encourages V to join her, but she declines. V wants to go away for college, but is worried about leaving her mom Nancy, Juliette Lewis, behind all by herself. It's been years since V's brother died, and neither of them have really gotten over it. At school, V takes photos for the yearbook, but most of them feature J. She joins her friends Tommy, Miles Heiser, Liv, Kamiko Glenn, and Wes, Mark John Jeffries, at a pep rally. Sid gives Liv her phone to record her dare. She joins her fellow cheerleaders and moons the entire school. Her dare is complete. The gang later goes out to eat. Sid keeps trying to get V to join Nerve since V never takes risks. They see Jay sitting with his buddies. Sid decides to go over and talk to Jay for her. She asks him if he would be interested in going out with V, but Jay says she's not his type. Upset, V leaves and goes home. She logs onto Nerve and is told the rules before she makes a move. Dares must be recorded on the player's phones and if they bail or fail, they lose their money. Also, nobody can snitch on Nerve or it'll end very badly. V decides to become a player. Immediately, Nerve starts to obtain all of V's personal information. V calls Tommy to take her to a diner for her first dare. She must kiss a stranger for 5 seconds to get $100. The clock is ticking as she hesitates to pick someone. She spots a guy named Ian, Dave Franco, reading her favorite book, Virginia Woolf's To The Lighthouse. V kisses him while Tommy records. The dare is done. V goes over to Tommy, who is more annoyed than anything. He secretly likes V. When she turns around, Ian is gone. He is then spotted going all around the diner singing and putting on a grand performance as part of his dare. He goes to V's table, and she is dared to go to the city with him for $200. Although uncertain at first, V joins Ian on his motorcycle, leaving Tommy behind. V and Ian make it into the city and part ways. She then gets a new dare to try on a couture dress. V tries it on and then finds Ian in the same store trying on a suit. When they go back into their dressing rooms, they find all of their stuff is gone. The next dare for both of them is to leave the store. They remove their clothes and leave in their underwear. A bunch of watchers record them as they leave. They find the clothes from the store on Ian's motorcycle for them to keep. Their phones then buzz for the next dare. Before they head out, a player named Ty, Machine Gun Kelly, passes them and comments on their dares, and he also implies that he personally knows Ian. Tommy stays at the diner and decides to watch what V is doing. He gets in touch with his hacker friend Azher, Samira Wiley, and asks for a ticket to Aruba. Azher thinks it's risky, but she sends him a code for access to a site called Aruba. Tommy discovers past videos of Ian playing Nerve a year earlier. He stole the motorcycle and was hanging from a crane with two other guys. Sid is going around the city with Liv and Wes to continue her dares while gaining more followers. She becomes displeased when she learns V is catching up to her watcher count. V and Ian go to a tattoo parlor. Ian draws a secret tattoo for V to get. It turns out to be a lighthouse as a nod to her favorite book. Nancy then notices that money is being transferred into her and V's joint account. She calls Tommy to ask what's going on. Tommy, unable to snitch, says V got a job and is having money transferred to her account. V and Ian then write a carousel. Sid and her friends watch at a house party. V talks about joining Nerve to get Sid off her back, claiming that she always makes it look like V is insecure when it's really Sid that is insecure and how she always has guys come over when her parents are away. Hurt, Sid seeks out a new dare. She encounters Ty at the party, who suggests that she team up with him. Sid declines. Ian then suggests to V that they go to the party. Sid gets really drunk and is then dared to walk across a ladder from one apartment to the next. It's especially terrifying for Sid because she's afraid of heights. After making it halfway, Sid slips and drops her phone. She bails out of nerve. V and Ian arrive at the party. Sid takes the chance to call V out on what she said, leading to a huge fight between them, leaving Sid humiliated. V decides to complete Sid's dare and she walks across the ladder almost effortlessly. When she goes back to make up with Sid, she finds her making out with JV then learns that Ian was dared to go to the party to get V and Sid to fight. 
Angered, V decides to tell the cops. Ian runs after her and pleads with her not to do that, but she doesn't listen. V sees a cop and tells him about Nerve, but he does nothing. Nancy then calls V and says all the money in their account has been taken. Now alone, V comes across Ty, who says he has to win the game, and he knocks her out cold. V wakes up in a freight container with snitches, gets stitches painted on the walls. A TV in the container turns on with a computer voice telling V that because she snitched, Nerve now controls her life, family, and future. The only way for her to escape is to win the game. She gets out of the container and is told to get on the ferry. She runs into Ian, who explains to her that like him, she is now a prisoner of the game. For Ian, it happened a year earlier when he, Ty, and a third guy named Robbie were dared to hang from a crane. Robbie slipped and fell to his death. Ian and Ty went to the cops, but Nerve ruined their lives and took away his money and his father's job. Ian says he will do a dare that places him ahead of Ty so that he and V can make it to the finals. V meets up with Tommy and Sid, where she reconciles with both of them. They get in touch with certain people as part of a plan. Meanwhile, Ian takes a dare in which he must hang from a crane with one hand for five seconds. He succeeds and advances to the final. V goes through the city and must pick up a package, which turns out to be a loaded gun. V and Ian make it to an arena in front of over a hundred watchers for the final round. Tommy and Sid meet up with Azher to hack into Nerve's server, and Nancy meets with them there to watch the final round. The dare involves V and Ian having to shoot each other. Ian tells V to shoot him so she can win. V refuses. Ty appears and says he will shoot one of them. The watchers cheer him on. V decides to take the shot over Ian. As everyone records, she calls everyone out on wanting to watch someone die for the sake of their entertainment. Nerve then decides to put V's life to a vote. The majority votes yes for her to get shot. Ty fires the gun and V goes down in Ian's arms. Every watcher then has their names exposed and a message notifying them that they are accessories to murder with the option to sign out. Everyone does, allowing Azher to crash Nerve's server and shut it down for good. V then reveals she was alive, having orchestrated the whole thing with Ty involved, he fired a blank. Everything goes back to normal, and Azher makes it so that V and Nancy get their money back. V and Ian, who says his real name is Sam, decide to pursue a relationship. They share a kiss as the sun rises on a new day, 